Kim Buckley. And I have um, last question. Okay. Sure. Oh, okay. Um, my first, well, actually, I had a response to the question about the education and the connection to the facility. Um, the New England Association of Schools and Colleges is an accreditation committee. I'm sorry, I'm answering your question. I would hope that you would listen, please. I'm sorry, I'm trying to address your question. Um, the New England Association of Schools and Colleges is the accreditation committee, and they determine whether or not Morgan is an accredited high school. And without accreditation, our students' diplomas are invalidated. And in their most recent study of the current Morgan facility, they wrote in their report that our facility is an impediment to students' education and needs to be updated. And to update that facility, Sorry, you repeat that, again? Okay. that the um, current facility is an impediment to our students' education. It's in the report from this association that accredits schools. And there are there is a school in the state right now that is at risk of losing its accreditation because of the facility. Um, and the cost to update Morgan, which I pulled from past capital projects, um, things that are in the budget that anyone can look at and see that have been deferred, um, is approximately ten million dollars to make those repairs, including security upgrades and um, the roof. I have an estimate of about 3.5 to replace it. It's a 20-year roof that needs to be replaced. Um, bleachers, lockers, sidewalks, laboratories, all of those things that have been deferred. It's about $10 million, $9.3 million. Okay, thank you. Uh, so let me understand what you just said. Are you saying if we don't upgrade the school that the accreditation of, of the high school will be taken on? We are at risk of losing uh, our risk? Yes. Okay. Uh, you want to answer her? No, uh, I don't want to answer her question. Another one to question? Excuse me, can I ask that question? Um, I was at the meeting last week and I specifically asked the principal, Carrie, my question to her was, my name is Meg Wright, and I was at that meeting last week, and my first question, the only question at that meeting was the concern of the accreditation of warning, and I asked about the NIAS study. And I was told by the principal that Morgan was not in jeopardy of losing accreditation due to the condition of the building. If we, do not, if we do not respond to their recommendations, when the next evaluation is, we are at risk. Uh, I don't see the uh, Board of Education member who was at our CTA meeting who said that if, the, if you didn't build a new school or renovate as new, that there was a possibility that uh, Morgan would lose its accreditation. Um, I spoke to Janet Allison this morning at uh, NEASC, who indicated that we first have to be, uh, to go into, into some kind of probation, and the school is not on probation. I'd like to have a specific I, answer to that question. I don't think this building committee has ever said anything about possibly losing accreditation, so. Right, but there are, there, that has been said, I think it'd be nice to clear it up. It's not my opinion. I know, but it's been said by a member of the Board of Education. Well, go to the Board of Education meeting and ask them about it. This is a building committee. Well, I came to our meeting and spread misinformation. I would like to get cleared up. Let me let me this is you know kind of silly to turn the battle back and forth. At no time has the Morgan High School from the last accreditation process been in jeopardy of the accreditation. There were a number of recommendations in the accreditation report regarding the facilities and that need to be addressed in order to go forward. But at, at that it was said or that it was misconstrued that if we were in jeopardy of accreditation is uh, unfortunate that that's how it got, that's how it was interpreted, but that is not the case, Mr. Carter. Thank you. Thank you for starting that out. Thank you very much. If the cost of renovation is $37 million, what is the state reimbursement for that? I believe it's like 46%. Made at 110,000 square feet, it could be up to 44 percent. The state will probably. The state now is that the renovation is higher. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Uh, in order for the state to reimburse any anything for renovation, it has to be renovated as new. That 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 30 million dollars 
um, would not be reimbursable by the state at all. They don't see that as a, that just, they see that as an upgrade, not a renovation. So in order for the state to, to reimburse for renovation, it's got to be renovated as new, and I believe that number is somewhere around 60 million. I think you're right. I think it's a dozen, no, I, it's a, the number I have is 60 million. But I also heard, like, I don't know if you can place a roof, I heard that is reimbursable, not but a new roof is reimbursable. So I don't think you have to spend 60 million. 